Hello, I'm Robin Stevens, the author of The Murdermost Unladylike Mysteries, and today I'm going to read to you from my latest mystery, Death in the Spotlight. Chapter 1 My name is Hazel Wong and I am a detective. When Daisy and I first began investigating, it simply did not seem possible that someone like me could detect mysteries. But now, I cannot imagine my life without Daisy Wells and the Detective Society, without strange events and awful danger and horrid heart-pounding surprises. There is always a moment, deep in the midst of a case, when I think that I never want to detect another one. But all the same, if more than a few months go by without a murder or a theft or a kidnapping, I begin to feel as though something was missing. Even by Detective Society standards, though, we are having a most exciting few weeks. We are proper members of a real London theatre company, and thus closer to being grown-up than ever before. And, once again, we have found ourselves faced with a ghastly and shocking crime. I do feel almost like one of the heroines of Daisy's mystery novels. Of course, a book heroine would not have a spot on her nose. She would not be so fond of cakes. I don't much mind about this difference. In my opinion, many book heroines do not eat nearly enough and she would have no trouble remembering her lines in a play. I have fallen short in all three of these tests, and even Daisy, with her flawless skin and her flair for drama, loves cake. So it is clear that we are real and really facing our seventh murder case. I remember a time when I was surprised we'd even got to three. I ought to explain exactly how we came to be sitting in the dusty, grease-paint-smelling stalls of the Rue Theatre, while a large, blue-hatted policeman stamps about on stage and shouts at us all to sit tight and not go anywhere. Of course, the policeman is here today, and so are we, because of the corpse, which is not a pleasant thing to have to write. Dead bodies are always awful. They are my least favourite part of what Daisy and I do. Daisy is sometimes impatient with me when I say this, but all the same, I'm glad they do upset me. I do not think I would be as good a detective if I stopped caring about the victims. Murder matters, and bothering about it helps us solve each case. But this mystery properly began a few weeks ago with Daisy's Aunt Lucy and Uncle Felix. They are the reason why we are at the room, and it is funny to think that we were sent here to keep us out of detective trouble. Ooh, Daisy has just hissed under her breath from the seat next to me. Uncle Felix will be annoyed, won't he? We were supposed to be safe from crimes here. Serve him right for treating us like children. So she is thinking along the same lines as I am, as usual. While we wait for the policeman to stop marching about and decide what to do next, I will explain all the steps leading up to the moment when the detective society came upon their seventh murder mystery.